let's see if we can find our girlfriend. Damn, that's a buff dog. That's a buff chihuahua looking dog. <laughs> You have an appointment with the Guardian, I'm afraid Miss Vincent isn't in right now. Oh, I know. I saw Faith hinting outside on my way here. So, do you need anything else? I'm a little busy, Melody. Not really. Uh, I guess I just wanted to ask how things are going. I mean, I feel like we haven't really talked much since high school. Well, I started working out, and I got a job here as a receptionist in the tower. And, uh, that's about it. Cool. I'm sorry, I'm just a little preoccupied. Everyone's got problems they want Miss Vincent in the Paladin to fix, and I'm the one who has to filter those requests. I've gotten three separate calls today from folks claiming a wizard had broken into their homes and erased their memories of their email passwords and their sleep. Did that really happen? No. But now I have to file a thorough report for every one of those calls. So I should get back to that. You know what? I feel like memory wizards uh, erasing my memory of passwords is uh, a very common issue. Uh, I think this person's a triple paladin because they have three uh, holy uh, plus signs. Melody, you're a paladin now, so I feel that I can entrust you with sensitive information regarding the paladin brigade operations. Can you keep a secret? Uh, sure. I accidentally wedged my sword in this crack in the floor and I can't get it out. So now I'm just trying to act casual and stand here with it until everybody leaves. It's very stressful. I have to try and help you get it out. You know, that would only cause a scene. Just think, how many people at Greenridge react if they knew that the new captain of the Paladin Brigade their sworn protectors was this incompetent. They'd be all over the tabloids. The tabloids? I wouldn't know. I don't read such things. Everyone makes mistakes, Providence. Providence? Oh, I said Providence. Providence. This is the first mistake I've ever met in my life. Also, I'm not actually joining the Paladin Brigade, by the way. I'm with Claire's Guild, not with you guys. Wait, really? That's... Uh, you know what? Forget everything you just heard. <laughs> what is with this? Or it's off. So, don't believe we've met. Name's Bethaniel, but everyone just calls me Beth the Beast. And they're Mary Ana. Hey. Um, hello, are you from around here? We've traveled a long way on a righteous quest to see the local guardian. Almost ten blocks, probably. We're here to ask her what she's doing to spread the love in Green Ridge, and also to see if she'd like to hear our chill anime beats mixtape. Oh, face right outside, you know. We didn't want to disturb her. Shouldn't you kids be in summer school or something? Actually, we're both on the honor roll. That's right, folks. This the man can't put us in summer school. Anyway, what do you mean by spreading the love? Like being friendly and sending good vibes? Good vibes are of utmost importance, especially for a guardian. She like sets the vibe for the whole town. But you think it's small. We also want to know if she's using her power to enact policies that will impact the town and its people in a positive way. Oh, Faith doesn't really get to decide laws or anything. She's not the mayor. Her job is to fix magic related problems around town and to help folks hurt by such things. You know, Monsters, magic relics, gone haywire, evil wizards, that stuff. Hmm. Well, I would say protecting us from evil wizards is a pretty good way to spread the love. Still want to talk to her though, so we'll just wait for her in here. Ooh, more tab. Okay, well, it was nice meeting you. Alright, Swagbird. Nice sword, Red. Is that a new one? I 
actually, it's an old one. I found it buried in my attic the other day. The old guardian always made us use regulation armor and gear and stuff, so I never got to use this one back in the day. This bad boy was just collecting dust until I realized that Faith would totally let me use it. I've still got a lot of polishing left to do, though. Isn't it just going to get dirty when you use it? Yeah, but if my sword's real big and shiny, then I might scare off evildoers without actually having to exert much effort. That's actually happened to me a few times before, believe it or not. I mean, I wouldn't want to get hit with that thing, so I guess that makes sense. I'll let you get back to that then. See you around. How about you try talking to my face and- sorry. <laughs> I wanted to do, I immediately wanted to do like an art- like an Arnold, uh, big ol' bodybuilder thing. How about you try talking to my face instead of my own face? Hey, Melody. Face told me you're a paladin now. Welcome to the club. Not the club as in the brigade, of course, but you know what I mean. Thanks, Holly. What specialization did you go with, by the way? I don't think Faith mentioned it. Oh, uh, I'm an, uh, an amorous paladin. Ha! <laughs> I knew it. That's so fitting for a lovely W type like you. Um, thanks? Don't worry, kid. I mean that as a compliment. You just know what you're all about, and you're using that to your advantage. Just like how I know that I'm all about being the biggest, strongest healer in this town's ever seen. Say, you know we actually have an amorous paladin on our team. What? Who, really? Who is it? Beth? Nope. It's Robbins. Oh my god, seriously? Seriously. She's all about her love for the town and all the people in it and wanting to protect them. But she shows it in some interesting ways. Most of which involve frowning. Don't tell her I told you that, by the way. She's a little embarrassed about it. She thinks people wouldn't take her as seriously as they knew. But yeah, there's lots of different types of love you can derive your powers from. Although, I have a feeling I already know what you're going with. It's exactly what you're thinking. Well, I'm real happy for you, kid. Just be careful. Having your feelings for your girlfriend be the source of your magic is, well, a lot of pressure to put on one relationship. You two seem really happy together. Try not to let things get weird because of all this. Thanks, Holly. I'll do my best. Oh, and one more thing. It's not much, but I figured you'd put it to good use. Ooh, a staff. Oh, it's... it's a little bent. Yeah, staves don't, and I don't really get along. I whack stuff a little too hard with them. Still works, though. It'll give your spell casting a little oof compared to casting empty-handed. I mean, provided you actually equip it, you know. Well, thanks, Holly. I'll be sure to put the good news. Knock him dead, kid. Or uh, knock him alive, because you're a healer. Though I suppose if they're zombies, we heal them to death. Is usually how it goes. Damn. Already replaced that gauntlet I just bought. Um, I don't need a practice dummy. I already have plenty of real combat under my belt. Okay. Um, save again. And... I already checked Allison's house. Maybe I need to talk to... Jody again. Um... Uh... Find Allison. Damn it, Allison! Damn it, Bobby. Um, well, we have a couple more houses we haven't been into, so let's check the magic. With that good well what I want to be just like my grandpa. A powerful sorcerer? No, evil. Anyways, the store is not really open today, so you should come back tomorrow and buy some spell books from my mom. Maybe all of them. 
Hey, you and your friends are adventurers, right? Care to buy some spell books? Dad had a million of these thing, old things collecting dust around the house. We figured it'd be better to sell them to folks who would actually use them. These were Mr. Leone's, aren't they a little dangerous? Oh, no, no. It's fine. He got rid of all the real scary stuff ones years ago when he gave up villainy. At least, that's what he tells me. Mom, if they aren't dangerous, why won't you let me touch any of the spell books? I'm sorry, honey. Those are for grown-ups only. If something's dangerous, probably ten times as dangerous in the hands of an eight-year-old. Oh, a hundred times dangerous with me, white mom. That's right, sweetie. Uh, my dad's just a hoarder. When he was an adventurer, he'd just go grab any old book he found, whether it was useful to him or not. We've got plenty of spell books that just would be useful for adventurous kids like you. Well, being too dangerous, though. But, you're gonna have to come back tomorrow if you'd like to peruse our wares. We ain't officially open yet. Alright. Seems like most every place is not open today. I guess I'll go to the fortune teller. Oh. Or not. Alright. Um. Gonna go this way. Yes. Construction site. Hike trail. Did it all of a sudden go for a hike? Oh, that's some monsters. These flowers seem interesting. Do they grow like this naturally? Alright. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Is this some kind of treasure map? Let me take a closer look. One, two, three. Well, it's not super clear. I guess I'll keep an eye out for this treasure. Alright. Hmm. Seems we got some kind of enemy blocking our way. Hoop snake! <laughs> look at them, look at him go, look at him go! He just rolls on by. Ooh. Ooh. This, this snake hits hard. It has a lot of health. Oh, I missed! No! Dang hoop snake! Alright, we got him. Close to a level up. Alright, what's up here? Hiking trail midpoint, alright. Um, is this really the right way to go, though? Hold on. I feel like maybe I've missed something in town. Let me, let me make sure <clears throat> before I go exploring like that. Did I try that little... Ah. Did I make sure to look everywhere in her house? Cool magnets! That's Allison and me. One of these days, we're gonna redecorate it here. We'll finally move this couch so it's not one foot away from the TV. Yeah? Yeah, that's really close. Hold on. Is there something on her end stand? That's the book. Nope. Alright, I can't see the end stand. Alright, so she's not in her house. Um, there is the hiking trail I could explore, but was there anything else on the other area? Nope, let's peer back. 
says danger. This is some dagger. Danger. Alright, we can't go into the danger willingly. Alright, so I guess it's back to the hiking trail for us. Gotta gotta get in our steps, you know. Paladin Paladin's gotta work on that cardio. Thankfully, the hoop snake did not respawn. Ooh, so this one, this one, this one, this one. Ta-da! Ooh, neat. Nothing like a free phoenix down. I guess in this case, here, here, revival, tear down. <laughs> save <clears throat> to the side. Aha! Oh, look at that scene. Oh, it's so pretty. Allison? What? Mel? What are you doing all the way out here? Just felt like taking a hike? Wait, what's that? Did you get hurt? Oh, this? It's just a scratch. Funny story, actually. See, I was just minding my own business on break at work, smashing some bottles I had lying around for fun. You know, same old, same old. But I noticed that one of the bottles I smashed had a treasure map hidden inside. Awesome, right? I figured my mom must have buried some treasure out here, hidden the map in a bottle at the house. Anyway, long story short, I got jumped by a monster and chased it here to give it a piece of my mind. But it kind of got away. Here, let me see where you're hurt. I want to try something. Oh, uh, sure. Okay, Melody, focus. Remember what you studied. Positive thoughts. Square breathing. Channel your mana into your palms. <laughs> Swing! Spirit bomb! Why no? Melody cost first aid. Oh my god, it worked! Whoa, Mel! That's incredible! You can really pull off healing spells like that already? Oh, it's just an entry level first aid spell. It took me like two weeks just to get that one down, even with Claire's magic boost. And I can't exactly do much more than that. Do you really feel better? Yeah, I feel great! You give yourself some credit. Going from knowing zero magic to being able to do that is pretty amazing. Uh, what? Oh dear. Hey, Mel, I know there's a lot to ask, but you think you could lend me a hand here? A whole, whole hound? It's a, it's a whole hound. Huh. Hot dog. Oh, like a mole hound? Oh, okay. I get I get it. I'm not laughing, but I get it. Ooh. What's that star? Uh, let me feel myself. Alright, alright. It went in the hole! Uh, I guess we guard. Are we gonna do like a pop out attack? Nah, just a dodge. Alright. I got your number, whole hound. We're going whole hog on this. Ooh, that star thing filled up. Ooh, ooh. Do we have like a limit break? Oh, it's for skills. Aw, give Melody a little peck on the cheek to boost morale and raise her stats by 15% for 15 for 5 turns. Aw, hold on, does Melody have... Aw. Alright, so we got left jab, low kick, right jab, high kick. Let's go for a low kick. 
on the whole house. Aww. Damn! Now that's a... That's some damage! Didn't even break a sweat. Oh, cool. Found some stuff. I think we scared it off. Isn't it a little weird to see a monster this close to town? It happens. It's just a whole house. I find things like that poking around my garbage at least once a year. So, uh, anyway, hey, I haven't seen you in forever. Really liking that new look. It's adorable. I really think so. I was trying to go for a healer look. It's not too much, is it? No way, you look great. I mean, I always think you're adorable, but today, especially so. So. Since you're here and I'm no longer busy, why don't we, like, do something together? I missed having you around, you know? Let's go do something fun. What, like, couple stuff? Like a date? Yeah, totally normal. Normal couple stuff. No magic, no killed, no monsters. I, I feel like you might have jinxed that, Allison. Just a chill afternoon together. You know what? You're right. I think a relaxing day off would be good for me. Or at least half a day off. That's the spirit! Did you have something in mind for us to do? Fuck. <laughs> Let's do a thing. Alright, what do you have in mind? Ah, oh, shit. I didn't think that far. <laughs> a kiss would be a start. Heck yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> like little bit this date, dude. <laughs> and then they kiss. <laughs> so what now? I don't know. We'll figure something out. Let's just look around town and find something fun to do. Your girlfriend Allison has joined you. Uh, let's save. Meow. Meow shroom. I assume if you eat a meow shroom, uh, you, uh, you, you won't be able to stop, like, purring or making meows at the end of your sentences for a while. It's like it's like being poisoned, but being poisoned with uh, and then with a uh, adorable verbal tick. All right, hoop snake, you're going down. Ooh. Uh oh, she got scored. Paladin's gift. Sacrifice star power to restore a decent amount of a friend's magic power. Okay. Uh, let's heal Allison. She is not doing so good. And we'll punch the Meow Shroom. Defeated! Oh, hey, treasure. Gotta go fast! Gotta go fast! Uh, nope. Didn't mean to go all the way. Now we find a pair of Meow Shrooms. Alright. Ready to get beaten, yeah. You're in for a big, big ol' weapon, meowsters. Ooh, hey. Oh boy, look who's here. Should we avoid Paula? I know you two don't exactly get along. Ah, you can say hi if you want. It's not like she won't notice us. It's just try to make it quick. Oh good, it's you. And here I was wearing that I saw the half hour of peace and quiet in before my shift without anyone bothering me. Yeah, nice to see you too, Paula. So Goletta, are the rumors true? The ones about you already giving up on that adventuring nonsense? Nope! It's gonna be better than ever, actually. As a matter of fact, we just fended off a wild whole hound. Wow. Well, 
Maybe next time you'll fight a real monster. Who started that rumor about me calling it quits anyway? Oh, that was me. Then why did... You know what? Never mind. Just try not to miss me too much while not becoming a famous hero. Yeah, I'll always cherish... Tre yeah. yeah, I'll always cherish my many memories of you being late for your shifts and texting on the job while I did all the actual work. Certainly one way of remembering it. But hey, I'll be sure to send you a card when you're hospitalized for getting stomped on by a dragon. Or whatever it is you run off to do. How thoughtful. Look, I'm trying to be realistic. A slacker like you? Give it a week before you realize how tough it is out there. Who else do you have on your crew? Amaranthier? Poor girls could have a heart attack the first time you run into something big. Higsby? Can't believe you trust her. Typical magic user. Massive ego, huge magic magnet for trouble. She'll probably stab you in the back. Caldwell's cool, but I don't, know, I don't know how the hell you convinced her to look after a bunch of newbies. Y'all can pretend all you want. You can take shortcuts, but what you're trying to do takes real talent. And you can only pretend to have talent for so long. But yeah, you have fun with your little LARPing club. Bring me back a souvenir. Wow, look at the time. Well, it's been fun, Paula, but Melody and I have a prior engagement. So, sure, scram. Well, Paula's a character, kind of rude. Can I go on these now? Hmm. Don't, uh, don't really subscribe to that whole talent thing right now. I don't know. Uh, maybe people have affinities for certain things, but hard work uh, will always prove out over just something like that. Oh, hey, you two over there! What's up, Beaverly? You two seem like you could do... You could go for a slice of cake? What makes you say that? I'm just very perceptive, Melody. I can tell these things. Also kinda got half a leftover chocolate cake in the fridge, and I would rather share it with my friends than throw it out tomorrow. What do you think, Mel? Yeah, that sounds nice. Let's treat ourselves. Great, let's head inside. Here we are. Two slices of chocolate cake for the lovely couple. Enjoy. You sure you don't want us to pay for this? Oh no, it's on the house. I probably owed one of you a favor anyway. Thank you, Beaverly. I'll leave you two alone then. Call her if you need me. Yeah, cake will restore my health and manner too. Yeah, yeah. You know, if we were a real couple, we'd be sitting here drinking one milkshake with two straws. You want to ask for a milkshake? You could just... Have a milkshake if you want one. Oh, no, no, no. That would be way too much sugar, even for me. So, what have you been up to lately? It's been a while since we, you know, talked. I've mostly been studying all that material on healing magic that Claire gave me. Lots of little mana management exercises, deep breathing, focusing your thoughts on the spell, that sort of stuff. Nice! But you could have done some of that studying with me, you know? I know. I'm sorry I haven't been around lately. I just... I don't know. Oh, come on. Talk to me, Mel. I guess it just felt like people would think I wasn't taking it seriously if I didn't at least get a simple healing spell or two down before showing my face again. I wanted everyone to see that I really am trying my hardest. I mean, I admire your commitment, and I'm real impressed that healing spell you used on me. I kind of felt like the fresh, tingly sensation you get after rinsing with mouthwash. Except everywhere. But you do know everyone's got your back, right? You don't have to prove anything to anyone. I don't know, it's complicated. Everyone's so encouraging. Well, everyone except Paula, I guess. But they are all just saying that because they're our friends? Like, 
they don't know I'll succeed. They just can't see the future. And I've never done anything like this before. They're just trying to be supportive. And part of me thinks all that support means I have a lot to live up to now. And that I'll let everyone down if this doesn't work out. But it's not like I want everyone to tell me they think I'll fail, you know? So it's complicated. Melody. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm just overthinking things. Ignore me. What about you? Have you got much training done? Eh, not really. Claire says at a certain point I'll only get better at fighting monsters by, you know, fighting monsters. I haven't had a real chance to go out on an expedition or anything, and a whole hound or two aside, I heard a lot of monsters to fight around town. It's too bad that the that Faith and the Paladin Brigade are so good at their jobs, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that reminds me. I should probably tell you the big news. Brace yourself for this one. I embrace. I quit my job. Yep. No more working my butt off chopping down trees for minimum wage. But my two weeks in, two weeks notice. Uh, two weeks ago now, actually. Which means I can focus on adventuring full time. Nice. Well, I guess you really got a good feeling about this guild thing, huh? I really do. I mean, why shouldn't I? I know it's a risk, but if this works out, I'll be making way more money than at my old job. And even if it's hard work, but it was something fun with my friends and with the love of my life. Aww. Oh, speaking of the guild, have you seen Claire lately? Jody said she'd been working on some kind of project. Yeah, no idea what's up with that. Claire never tells me anything. You know how she can be. I thought you said no guild business today, though. Well, I'd like to at least tell her about the progress I've made. Fair enough. Hey, Beaverly, what about you? Any idea where Claire's been up to? I don't know about all that magic stuff Claire gets up to is it way over my head. But I'm sure it's something cool, you know, in her. I'm not sure if knowing it involves magic makes me more or less concerned. I'd try asking Jody if I were you. Oh, well, thanks for the cake, Beaverly. It was great as always. You're welcome. Where are you two headed off to now? Not sure. We hadn't really thought that far ahead. Why do you ask? Well, Claire said something about getting special magic healing powers from the power of love or something like that. Is that true? More or less. Wow! What'll they think of next? Anyway, Claire asked me to keep an eye on you two and make sure everything's hunky-dory with your relationship. Make sure your magic keeps working. That's a little weird. Everything's cool, though. You don't have anything to worry about. I thought so. But hey, if you ever need someone to talk to, I'll be around. Maybe we should ask Jody what Claire's up to. Just to have some peace of mind. Oh, Alright. <clears throat> oh, hey, she teleported benches. Hmm. Well, that's a really... Mm. Mm. I feel like it's very easy for me to get melodies and... Uh, why am I suddenly forgetting the magic user's name again? Uh, I feel like those two boys are easy. Alice and I feel like I'm waffling on. I keep wanting to use sort of the same voice for Jody as I have for Alice, and, and the only other, like, just really throwing it out there would be, like, I don't know. Well, that's a relief. What is? You two are spending time together. I've been pretty worried about Alice and lately. What are you talking about, Jody? I've been perfectly fine. If I'm perfectly fine, you mean starved for attention because your girlfriend was ignoring you, then sure. You say that as if I'm not always looking for attention. Allison, if you miss me so much, why didn't you just come over to my place? You know, that's a good question. Thank you. You're welcome, babe. 
If you two lovebirds don't need me anymore, I'm just gonna get back to what I was doing. You're doing nothing, Jody. Oh, actually, have you seen Claire lately? Nope. She says she's busy with some sort of hot, secret, very important guild project. One that she didn't want my help with. Aren't you a little concerned about what Claire's up to? Maybe. But I'm sure she knows what she's doing. Jody, sometimes I worry you let Claire get away with too much. What do you mean? How about the time she accidentally cast a spell that swapped your arms with your legs? <laughs> hey, magic's tricky. She fixed it and learned from her mistake, and that's all that matters. About that time, Robbins was trying to give a speech, but her mic wasn't working. Oh yeah, didn't she try to cast the volume increasing spell on Robbins? But it was way too loud, it wouldn't wear off for 48 hours. Yeah, and Providence tried to keep quiet, but of course, Holly and Rhett kept trying to get a rise out of her because they thought it was hilarious. Actually, it was pretty funny in hindsight. Listen, I'm Claire's roommate, not her mother. She's also an adult. It's not my job to discipline her or anything. I mean, come on. We all make mistakes. Once, I was trying to practice this Force Shield spell with Faith, Except I accidentally made it way too big, and it smashed right through the wall in her office. Wow, I didn't even know about that. I'm gonna have to remember that one for the next time you rag on me for breaking stuff. Yeah, great. Look, all I'm trying to say is that Claire needs someone to be supportive of her and her ambitions. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I saw Claire looking for something in your basement, Allison. She's been down there a while, though. We should probably go check on that. How come you're not hanging out with Faith? Not... I didn't see a head pat. Man, is, is all my fucking redeems broken today? Or at least it seems... Alright, jazz I could understand being broken, but head pats? That's criminal. How come you're not hanging out with Faith? It's so rare to see her get this much free time. Yeah, she wanted to do a little painting, so I figured I'd let her have some space. I mean, it's not like we have to hang out all the time. I understand she's a busy person. I just appreciate the time I managed to spend with her. The rest of the time, I let her live her own life. Wow, Jody, that's smart, emotionally mature. No, it's proof that Mel and I are Greenbridge's true power couple. Up top, Mel! <laughs> See you later, Jody. Alright, we're gonna save, and I'm going to fix that. Because head pat absolutely needs to work. Oh, did it not work because that was open? Yes, it was because that was it. Alright, there you go. Well, I wasn't paying attention. I didn't see if Boop worked. Alright, Boop is working. Alright. Alright, thank you for the head thats Renna, and thank you for the boops, Miss Nil. Oh, Alright, into the basement! My, my girlfriend's basement. Um, is the basement supposed to have- Ah! Hydrate? hydrate? Alright, yeah, I've been doing a lot of talking. I don't know what material you use for your floor, Allison. Um, uh, I can I, can 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 I have some of this? Like, I want to I want like a scrolling uh, floor texture. That would be that'd be pretty fucking sick. I don't know why this one's gold. Oh look, it keeps track of how many times they've kissed. <laughs> Uh, 
Yep, yep. This game is beautifully saccharine. Claire, what? Why are you my basement's walls covered in trash? I can assure you it's not trash. I like the lights. They're festive. How long have you been in my basement? What are you even doing down here? Listen, I'm sure you have a lot of questions, and I can answer those questions. If you have some free time, and you think you're ready for something special. I guess we're ready? What are we ready for, exactly? Wonderful. All you need to know is that your basement is now the entrance to... Aiden Gion. I don't know what Aiden Gion is. A dungeon! What? Oh dear. See, as a new guild member, it's my responsibility to give the two of you a proper education when it comes to adventuring. All previous attempts have been interesting, but it was obviously needed to start smaller. I needed a controlled, subterranean environment ready to replicate that authentic dungeon experience in a more accessible manner. And in case you haven't noticed, this is the only house in the neighborhood with a basement. Lucky you! So now your house is this cool underground labyrinth that we get to explore together as a team. It'll be so much fun! Claire, just because my new boss or whatever just because you're my new boss or whatever, doesn't mean you get to bust into my basement and do some radical remodeling. Okay, first of all, you hardly use this basement. Let's be real. This place is a rental. How am I supposed to explain this to my landlord? I'm sure they'll see that this adds a lot of value to their property. Look at all this extra square footage. And where the hell did you put my stuff? Huh? It's... Uh... It's around here somewhere. I may have put it in hammer space storage or something. I don't know. I don't even know what to say. How about... Well, thanks, Claire. You sure did put a lot of effort in handing us our first adventure on a silver platter. Okay, this is a lot. Let's just... Let's all just stop and take a deep breath, okay? No yelling. Melody, what about you? Isn't this perfect for you? You get to do your training right from the comfort of your own girlfriend's home. Well, underneath it. You've been practicing those spells I gave you, right? Don't you want a chance to show them off? Come on, this will be fun. I guess this is worth a shot, right? Wow, it was a lot easier to sell you on this than I thought. I mean... If we're adventurers now, we've got to start somewhere. That's the spirit. Plus, I mean, either way, I am going to need someone to help me clear the clear out the evil monsters I summoned with dark magics. Wait, real mo wait monsters? Real monsters? Well, real ish. They're more like dark magic constructs, I guess. They'll still put up a fight, though. Hmm. I do like fighting. Okay, fine. Still not crazy about this basement dungeon idea, but I've been dying to see some action. Just make sure you put everything back to normal later. Don't need rowdy basement monsters trying to eat my face in the middle of the night or whatever. I'll put it on my to-do list. Anyway, I was waiting for Jody to show up before starting, but you know what? I think we can handle this on our own. It'll be just three pals on a fun-filled dungeon adventure. Are you really sure that's a good idea? Come on, what's the worst that could happen? Claire dooms the planet? <laughs> oh, actually, can we postpone? We're kind of on a date or whatever. More or less. I mean, unless you're okay with being a third wheel. I don't really care. Claire joined your party as the third wheel. <laughs> Okay, but fair warning, I could start macking on my girl at any time. No, really? You don't say? She's primarily driven by impulse, Claire. Sure. Some real hardcore tonsil hockey if you catch my drift. 
Okay, that might be an exaggeration. Listen, you two are making it weird now. Just so you know. Can we go? Swap and spit. I get it, Allison. Planted a big smacker. Smoochin! This is your revenge for me crashing your basement, isn't it? Face sucking. Locking lips. Puckering up. Watching submarine races? Can we just go already? Damn, those euphemisms. Uh, can we even go in the dungeon? Oh, I guess we can. Hmm. Wait, hold on. Can I... load... Ah. I guess we have to do the dungeon. Oh. Gnarly! Tubular! If I had the actual skills, I would want to do, like, a rainbow dashy voice for Allison. Sort of like that tomboy kind of thing, but, uh, she's just not... She can't really pull it out. Alright, what do we got? Dust bunnies! Aw, they have little, they have like little socks on their ears. That's adorable. Destroy! Let's see how much damage Scorch does. Ooh. Oh, it's on fire! <laughs> oh, it kind of looks like it's demonic side is coming out. Well, you learn something new every day. Alright, note to self, don't set dust bunnies on fire. Flaming dust bunny. <laughs> Uh, I guess we should put it out of its burning misery. Ah, oh, shit. It's still alive! Uh, Claire's not alive. Alright, this is what I get for splitting damage, isn't it? Oof. Alright, she still gets XP. Ooh. Dive bomb. Some gold. Alright, um, alright, she revives with 1 HP. And we can fix that 1 HP. Ooh. Hell yeah. Um, let's check left. Treasure? Of course. Ooh. Dust Bunny Sage. <laughs> oh, it's so adorable. Oh, let's, uh, let's boost Allison. Attack. And we'll set it on fire. And we'll see if it be the uh, same problem. If it goes demon again. Ah, shit, it did! My hubris! Just getting started. Oh, cool, some stuff. Ooh, a piece of candy. Wow, even the keys are cardboard. Hey, if you think you can make a better dungeon with real locks and keys, then be my guest. Need two keys. Alright, noted. Alright, I think the strategy is we weaken it to about half. And then we burn it. Because the burn is doing a lot of damage. Actually, I can just have everyone attack it. I think we'll kill it. Oof. Alright, so I think if Melody smacks it, it'll die. Um, we dive bomb the other dust bunny, and then we'll also scorch the other dust bunny. That should kill them all. Boom! Just a little snoop boop to finish it off. I didn't need to fight them. Alright. No, wait, we gotta boost Allison. Smack the wizard bunny up. 
Alright, alright, alright. Hey, Glottal, welcome on by. Yeah, uh, today I am I am cracking into a Slurpy G. I feel like Slurpy G is more uh the kind of thing I want to play on a Monday compared to Ring World. So Ring World got moved to Fridays. And what do you do? So rude. Um. Oh, click back into the game. And burn. I think that should kill it. Yeah. Shit. What the heck? Alright, and then we'll dive bomb and burn the other dust bunny. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly what I thought. Because uh, Mondays, Mondays are always Mondays, am I right? Grind core tea. Picnic set. Ooh. Wow, how nice of you to provide refreshments in our dungeon, Claire. That's enough to heal all of us in a pinch, so be, wet. be sure to use it wisely. Also, remember that we can't use a picnic set while in the middle of a fight. I mean, it's your dungeon, Claire. Couldn't you just make the monsters wait for us to have our snacks? That depends. Can you eat, eat a whole meal in six seconds? Is that a challenge? Please don't ruin this lovely picnic set I bought by trying to scarf it down in one combat turn. Ah, so we're using, uh, using ye old D&D combat rules. Um, let's heal up Claire before I forget. But yeah, it's, uh, it has been a busy, busy day, and tomorrow's looking to be no different. Really, Claire? Only ten gold? Money doesn't grow on trees, you know. Actually, can you use magic to plant a money tree or something? I almost tried that once, but it turns out it's considered counterfeiting and is very illegal. Who knew? It's just, if you're only going to put 10 gold in there, why even bother putting a chest here? The chest is, itself is probably worth more. Actually, hey, can we just take the chest? Please don't. Look, okay, here's a spare potion I was keeping in case of emergencies. Happy now? <laughs> you were keeping secret potions? You didn't really think I'd let two of my best friends get horribly maimed in a dungeon, did you? Wow. Thanks for the vote of confidence, guys. No respect! Oh. Tip. Fleeing from battle. Feel overwhelmed. Cancel button on your action. Boss will always prevent you from fear. Okay, great. That's both keys. We can move on to the end of the dungeon now. You know, Alice, and I have to admit, I'm actually kind of having fun here in here, Claire. Good. I worked really hard on all this. 